Okay, so it's late and these are the last slides, but I'm gonna read them really quickly. So, first of all, uh, the web is a wired equivalent privacy, and, and it's part of the IEEE specification standard. It's, the goal is to make Wi-Fi at least as secure as a wired LAN that has no particular protection mechanisms. <clears throat> web has never intended to achieve strong security. Okay, and the services provided are access control, which is for authentication, message confidentiality for using encryption, and message integrity. I think they use the MAC or the CCRC or, or C ICV. Okay, so first of all, the access control, uh, they use the challenge response protocol. And uh, so before association, the station needs to authenticate itself to the AP. Management uh, frames are used for this protocol. So the problem here is that the authentication is only station authenticates to her itself to the access point, but not the opposite. Okay, so the station sends an authentication authentication request to the access point. The access point replies with the um, random number challenge and the station replies back with the encryption of the random number challenge and um, <coughs> the encryption uses the key which is shared. Yani the key is shared and this is what, what uh, um, authenticates. Yani. Uh, the access point is, is uh, authenticates uh, by decrypting. <clears throat> so the only one who can decrypt is the person who has K. Once authenticated, the station can send an association request and the access point will respond with an association response. Okay, by the authentication, the station sends an authentic association request or will access point uh, responds if it fails no association is possible هلا خلصنا الاوثنتيكيشن هلا بندخل للكونفيدنشاليتي اند انتجريتي ف فور كونفيدنشاليتي وي هاف انكريبشن بيست اون ذا ار سي 4 ويتش از ا ستريم سايفر اند فور ايتش مسج تو بي سنت Uh, RC4 is initialized with a shared secret key, okay, which is K. It produces a pseudo random byte sequence key stream. Uh, okay, so because it didn't end on key, or min had a key, they derive the key stream, and the pseudo random byte sequence, uh, which is the key stream, is XORed with the message. Oh, here, how the whole um. السايفر تكست يعني هذا هو الطريقه اللي بيعملوا فيها um, encryption the reception is analogous and i think this means that um, uh, the receiver and the sender are can be the ap or the station interchangeably and the same the same method will be applied uh, for both each message is encrypted with a different key stream The RC4 generator is initialized with a shared secret and an initialization vector. With the shared secret and an initialization vector. And then we have a shared secret is the same for each message. And a 24-bit initialization vector changes for every message. Okay. The shared secret is the same for each message. <coughs> uh, the web integrity protection is based on an encrypted CRC value. هلا إحنا في integrity. في integrity we have the CRC, and it's an encrypted CRC value. The integrity check value is computed and appended to the message. Uh, the message and the 
integrity check value are encrypted together So in the message will ICV value they're encrypted together by XORing the K uh, the key stream which is result uh, from the RC4 and then we have the message and the uh, ICV encrypted but the initialization vector is not encrypted so okay so the secret key doesn't change so this is one issue and the initialization vector is not really encrypted, so anyone can read this. So then uh, they XOR, uh, th uh, th then they do the same to, uh, to retrieve the plain text. طبعاً, يعني, I don't need to explain what an XOR is and why this is the case, because I already explained it in other videos. So the web flaws is um, that the authentication and access control. Okay, the web flaws will be authentication. Awalan, it's one way only. <clears throat> so the AP is not authenticated to the station. And this follows that the station is at risk to associate a, to a fake access point. The same shared secret key is used for authentication and encryption. So this is a problem also. The secret key doesn't change and it's used for authentication and encryption. Okay. And this means that the two protocols can be easily uh, broken if the key is known. And there is no session key, so the key is fixed, and this is a problem. And uh, people can use exploit this weakness. And it is the access control is not continuous. I don't get this. Once a station has authenticated and associated to the access point, an attacker send messages using the MAC address of station. Okay, so after authentication and association, the an attacker send messages using the MAC address of the station. Ah, uh, يعني they can impersonate. لأنه <coughs> once the connection is established, um, خلاص, uh, uh, someone can spoof the MAC address and uh, act as his identity. لأنه uh, the access point is not authenticated to the station so so yeah and correctly encrypted messages cannot be produced by the attacker but replay of station messages is still open so although they cannot decrypt the message they can still uh, do the replay attack. Okay. So here the station can be impersonated. Actually, this is the same thing as this. So, Hadi, Hadi example is the same as this. Now, uh, uh, now we want to see how this authentication protocol can be exploited. So, our she the access point sends the uh, random value R to the station, and then the station replies to the access point with the IV vector concatenated with the R XOR K. Lesh the This is the encryption. This is the encryption of the R because we encrypt R, صح? so this is the encryption where K is a 128-bit RC4 output. It's an RC4 output on the init on initialization vector and the shared secret. 
So the attacker, he, he, can, he knows that the initialization vector is the first 24 bits. He can just extract it and uh, then he will have R XOR K. And we know that if we XOR R with R XOR K, then R XOR R will be nada, <laughs> will be 1. And we are left with K. Okay. So then he can use K to impersonate the station later. Okay. And the idea here is he has to use the same IV. Which is fine. Yani it's fine. And no, it doesn't matter. Yani he can do that. So he can. So the access point can act. Uh, uh, sorry. The access point sends to the attacker R prime. And then uh, uh, how, how will the attacker authenticate himself to the access point? He will send back the encryption of R prime, which is simply R prime XOR K. And now we have the integrity and replay protection. خلصنا authentication. Uh, for in, for integrity and replay protection, we have no replay protection at all. The initialization vector is not mandated to be incremented after each message. يعني it's the initialization vector ما في rules that 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 it has to be in sync with. The attacker can manipulate messages despite the ICV mechanism and encryption. Why? Why can he exploit this ICV? Because إحنا we have uh, the message plus the ICV, صح? Uh, so how can how can he generate a message with a valid ICV? So uh, first of all, uh, this is uh, happening because CRC is linear function with respect to XOR. So, um, what I what what uh, this means is that it can be distributed. Yani the CRC can be on X, and CRC can be on Y. Hala, imagine X is the message, and Y is the uh, manipulated message, or let's say the uh, attacker's message. So what happens is that the attacker knows the message concatenated with the CRC of the message, which is this is this is the IV. This is the ICV one. I C V. Okay, exhort with K. And this is the message, so. This is the message with the C, uh, C, ICV. لأنه إحنا عنا المسج and then the ICV and then we want to XOR it with K, صح? So here what he does is he has this. Okay. Then K is the RC4 output Um <coughs> For any delta M, the attacker can compute CRCM because CRC is a standardized uh, algorithm. So it can be used. So CRC is standard. Anyone can use it. Hence, the attacker can compute. So first of all, he will take the, the, the encrypted message, which is uh, this one and uh, then he will XOR it with his manipulated message and then he will use exploit the linearity of the XOR by doing this so he will uh, he has this XOR so M XOR M uh, Delta and CRC uh, M XOR CRC Delta M XOR K 
So, حتى, uh, what the idea here is that uh, the, the attacker doesn't even need to know M, uh, a K. يعني, he doesn't even need to, يعني, هنا في exhort with K, صح? The message. And he didn't, he, he doesn't need to know K. يعني, he can just, uh, um, يعني, of course, this is a string of bits, صح? This is just a string of random bits. But the... The uh, attacker, he knows, he knows the RC4, يعني he studied the RC4, and he knows that the first bits are the M, then the CRC, and then the K, and then he can exploit this, he can just play around until he has M XOR with M prime, concatenated with CRC of M XOR with M prime. لأنه here, we have the opposite, here we obtain CRC of M, XOR, CRC of Delta M, صح? So we have this. We want to combine X and Y, which is M and Delta M, into one CRC. So we did this here. And then we just put the K at the end. So this, this doesn't affect anything. And this will be the same value as this. And uh, that's it. Uh, now we have a, a valid message with a valid CRC with a valid K, so it's encrypted in a valid way. And this is how the attacker can exploit the integrity and replay an attack. Now for the confidentiality. Uh, we know that the initialization vector space is only 24 bits. So 24 bits is really small. There are only 16 million possible IVs. Nowadays, in uh, nowadays, يعني, uh, in in two, three, four hours, uh, you can ha you can finish all of these million packets. يعني, uh, these messages will be um, all exploited, and then. It will repeat, صح? It will go back to one. لأن, uh, if you have 10 possibilities and you use up all the 10 possibilities, then obviously you're going to repeat. You're going to go back to the first possibility and then second, third. يعني, you're going to repeat the cycle, صح? So if this cycle repeats way too often, يعني, every four hours, you can uh, repeat the initialization vector. In this way, in this way, if you if you are able to ob obtain, for uh, ten, uh, let's say like uh, twenty million messages, obviously uh, you're gonna uh, you're gonna have at least uh, some of these messages have uh, an IV collision, so an, an IV collision uh, in seven hours. هون بقولنا إنه in seven hours. ممكن نخلصهم. In many implements, the IV, ah okay. In many implementations, the initialization factor. يعني أول إشي إنه the IV is too small. تاني إشي إنه أول مرة بيعملوا the initialization factor دائما بيكون zero on startup. Okay. فهاي مشكلة لأنه it's not completely random. And in cryptography, everything needs to be random. Uh, if several devices are switched on uh, uh, nearly at the same time, they use the same sequence of IVs. They all use the same default key, which is common, uh, which is the common case. And then, IV collisions are readily available to an attacker. يعني, it's really easy to do this. It's really easy to implement this. And then. So you're gonna ask me, why is this relevant? So the reason is because the key depends actually on the IV. لأنه if we go back to the RC4, it takes input and initialization vector and the secret key. So if the secret key is fixed and we know the initialization vector and it collides many times, so we're gonna have the same K, صح? If we have the same IV collision, like if we have it repeated more than once, 
and the secret key is never changing, then the K obviously will, of course, yeah, there's going to be a correlation between the IV and the K. Okay? So it's really easy to find this correlation. And in, therefore, we have weak RC4 keys. For some seed values, uh, we have weak keys. So that the beginning of the RC4 output is not really random. Yani like we discussed this case that usually it's a zero, which is not very random. If a weak key is used, then the first few bytes of the output reveals a lot of information about the key. So breaking the key is made easier. So uh, in crypto experts suggest always to discard the first 256 bytes of the RC output, but web doesn't do that. Okay. So due to the use of IVs, eventually a weak key will be used and the attacker will know that because the IV is sent in clear text. It's not uh, high. So it's broken in few million messages. So what are the lessons that we learn? Uh, that the, uh, uh, one can combine two strong building blocks in a wrong way and obtain an insecure system. So stream ciphers alone are okay, but challenge response protocol for entity authentication are okay, but they shouldn't be combined. And encrypting a message digest to obtain an ICV is a good principle but doesn't work if the message digest function is linear with respect to the encryption function. Yani in our case, the RC4 encryption function was the XOR and it was linear with, the, uh, with, respect, to the, um, with respect to the ICB. Okay, I'll show the video so it won't.